Hello again, everybody. It's Ashley. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel again today. Today, I'm going to be sharing three different ideas of how you can gift a slider card or a gift card holder like this mailbox gift card holder die set new from the stamp market for Black Friday 2019. I'm going to go ahead and just show you the main pieces that cut out to create this uh, interactive gift card holder. So we've got the main mailbox piece, the little pull tab, and then these side pieces here that I have actually create an envelope. You also have this little slot die that makes the slot for the front of the mailbox, but you'll need to cut out the mailbox one more time without that slot die so that you can have the back to the mailbox. Now you'll have two tabs since it's included in the die, but you are going to be cutting the bottom tab of the back of the mailbox off. And I'll show you that in just a minute. They're really easy to put together. It just has a couple steps. And once you see it, you'll pick it up immediately. This is the pull tab uh, die cut here, and this will actually go inside the mailbox mechanism. And then, like I said, you have these two dies that just create a little envelope and it's meant to fit right in the slot and just peeking up there so you can have a little bit of decoration with it. So like I said, I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and cut the bottom tab off of the back of the mailbox and you'll know it's the back because it doesn't have that slot because you don't include it in the die cutting of the back of your mailbox. I'm then going to go ahead and fold these tabs inward. Now for the front of the mailbox again you'll have the side tab and then the bottom tab and just to make sure it sits nice and flat I'm going to use my bone folder to make sure that's nice and creased. You'll see I'm just moving on to the back part of the mailbox now. And again, you're going to fold this tab inward. So once I have all of the tabs folded in, you'll realize when you put them together, you go to assemble it, each of these tabs will be on opposite sides. And that will give a little bit of dimension so that this pull tab, which will reveal your uh, gift card, can fit inside and move around comfortably. So now that we have all of our pieces ready to assemble, I wanted to show you the Merry Mail stamp set. And this is a coordinating stamp set that actually has the word pull on it as well, which is obviously made to go into this bottom tab that's going to be sticking out of the bottom of the mailbox. That way your recipient knows exactly what to do with it. So I'm going to take one of the sentiments and I'm using sending Merry Mail. And this is again from that Merry Mail stamp set. I'm going to prep the front of my mailbox with a powder tool. This will ensure that my embossing powder doesn't go anywhere except for where I intend it to go when I stamp. I'm using Versamark ink, which is a sticky clear ink and does really well with embossing. I'm going to go ahead and make that impression on there, put on some bright white embossing powder, heat set it, and now I've got a really fun sentiment on the front of my mailbox. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble this now so that you can see how this goes together. So again, the bottom doesn't have the bottom tab. So we're going to go ahead and take some glue. I like to use liquid glue for this because it just gives me a little bit of wiggle room as to being able to line it up perfectly. So I'm just going to go around the entire edge of the front mailbox and then just that inner tab of the back of the mailbox. If you want to make sure to get a really good uh, adhesion, you can definitely put glue on both, but I have found putting it on one just works fine. You can see when you're peeking in there, you'll, the tab on the inside of the front mailbox doesn't get glued. This is actually just to catch the other tab of the pull portion, and that way it doesn't come all the way out when somebody's pulling out the tab to reveal the gift card. For this specific design, I'm going to be using this envelope stamp and I'm going to cut it out with the coordinating die. This stamp comes in the Merry Mail stamp set, but for this more festive design that I 
uh, created earlier, I did use the envelope die. I also used the coordinating dies for the Mary Mel stamp set to make these fun little packages there at the bottom, and I just thought that gave it a little bit of flair. And then I wanted to also show you it in action, so I went ahead and put a Starbucks gift card in there, and you can just see how well that works. So for this design, I'm just putting this envelope right here. I only want to put the glue at the top of the envelope because I want to be sure that the inside of the mailbox stays completely un... or there's no adhesive on the inside sticking them together. I also have this Polaroid of my daughter sleeping that I thought would be really fun to send to one of my sisters who lives in Florida. Uh, she doesn't get to see her very often, so I wanted to include this as a little surprise gift. And then I thought this is a really fun idea and something to do that has a little bit more of a personal touch. This can also be great for just a tag on a gift and it's something really special adds a really great touch and I think that family members would really enjoy something like this. I had another idea while I was playing with the die set and I thought about Crafty Friends and how they're really the only ones that can appreciate the work that goes into creating an interactive card like this. So I thought, wouldn't it be really fun if I took one of the Stamp Market's mini sets and included it as a little gift in this slider card? So what I did was use that tab die to cut out a little piece of the backing of one of the mini sets. I'm going to use some repositionable tape again, and I should have mentioned that as well with the gift card and the Polaroid. I'm using repositionable tape, and that makes it easy to pull off. So I'm also using that same tape on the backside of the stamp set on the acetate so that it will stick to the backing that I've already adhered to the pull tab itself. It fits perfectly, and I just think it looks so wonderful coming out of this little mailbox. I thought it was a really great idea for a crafty friend or for somebody that you think just likes arts and crafts, and it's really great when you can take something homemade like this and have it be twofold as like a tag and also a little gift. So I just wanted to share some ideas with you uh, for ways to achieve that. I hope that you've enjoyed getting a few ideas on how you can use this mailbox gift card slider. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. All of the links to the products used today are in the description, as well as the link to my blog post, which coordinates with this video and is a part of the Black Friday blog hop for the stamp market. Thanks so much for stopping by and I'll see you again very soon. Thank you. Bye.